Um, let me ask you something that I always ask guests that are on for the first time, and I think I've already asked you this, but yeah. maybe tell a different story when it comes to you, Jimmy. But okay. I always ask everybody, Dave, uh, is there something you did on stage when you first started out uh, doing comedy that you can't believe you did that you totally regret, <laughs> like something stupid or something? Can I tell you what I really regret the yeah. most? Anytime I ever wore a suit on stage, because I'm, I'm like ugly to begin with, but like suiting it up. It, it, it like put like just a tinge of like special needs on it. Like, oh, look at this guy thinking he's a normal. Look at this fucking freak. I wish I had the balls to walk up here with a, a toenail clipper and several several keys to cars he doesn't have. Jimmy, what's your answer for uh, can't believe you did it when you were starting? Uh, I, out? Believe it or not, this is a fucking true story. I was trying to figure out what the fuck I was doing and. Uh, I went up on stage and did this character called the Humorator, a comic for the 27th century, where I came out with these fucking stupid glasses and I had these fucking things on my eyelids, and it was just a fucking ridiculous idea, and I'm sorry I ever did it. It was like fucking, it was like watching yourself in a gay porn when I think back and I see that fucking tape. It was like, ah, what was I thinking? Ooh, it's on tape? No, I don't know it's on tape. I fucking destroyed it. I understand that this is uh, not just about me, an old timer, but uh, there's new talent to be had, and I'm always for that. I love that. Thank you. I, <laughs> one of them is uh, Scott Kidd. You ever see anything? You ever perform on a stage with anything like that next to you? Uh, this guy? <laughs> yeah, I went to Hebrew school with him. <laughs> I, I, sorry, I'm just warming up. Jimmy, what do you got? <laughs> uh, I got nothing. <laughs> He's Iron Man. He's I, I really? Yeah. <laughs> Halloween ideas. What do you think, Scott? Uh, vampire? Pirate? Come on, dude. Really? Uh, Already? <laughs> That's it? All right. I go with the Kmart costumes. How about you guys? You like I was going to go with Dracula Untold, but I'm going to look. Uh, what, what's Untold? I've seen the fucking 37 versions of that same fucking story. What, did he have braces when he was little? What are you fucking leaving out? What am I missing? <laughs> what's fucking Untold about the fucking Dracula story? I've seen it 99 fucking times. Yeah. But I, I make it what is Dracula Untold. Yeah. I usually go with something, um, you know, annoying but not threatening, like uh, the U.N., or, uh, <laughs> so, sorry. I like how both of your ears are locked and loaded, Dave. You have a cigarette between, behind Oh, do I really? Ears. Oh, shit. I thought this was a prison show. All right. No, I'm glad to be here, man. This is cool because, Tony, I, I told you this before, and, uh, of course, Brian, that you guys are like, I see you guys as like the new wave. You're uh, young, and you guys write a lot of jokes, and I like that, you know? Thank you, Dave. It's not just about, uh, you know, cutting up there and uh, storytelling and whatnot, right. and you guys... Land some punchlines, you know. Thank you. I love but you kind of lose it in um, charisma. <laughs> now, <laughs> it's true. I've been to like house flipping auctions that are more exciting than this. Well, let's pump it up, guys. Yeah. This guy's got the stage presence of a gay snail. Now, what's the next thing? <laughs> oh, you'll make, you, won't, you got nothing for the robot, but you'll fire uh, off at me? We're supposed to make fun of the robot? I fucking love you, bro. I got nothing for the fucking robot. I, I, every time I come, there's a different guy in a fucking robot outfit. I don't. You know, I don't want to fucking hurt his feelings. He probably <laughs> bruised like a grape that he's going to fucking be in a fucking costume for the whole show like that. I don't know the format. So what is his job? Is he supposed to, like, uh, bring us? He, he's supposed to keep IT? us safe just in case anything crazy happens, which has never happened before in 70-some episodes of doing this. 70-some episodes. Give it up, guys. Yeah. How about a hand for free, le- free downloads? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And the other part of it is, and that's what we'll do right now, is he always asks our guest a question so that I don't have to. In, like, zeros and ones robot talk or in regular people talk? <laughs> there he goes. Oh, there we go. Fired off. What do you got for us tonight, Scott? Well, uh, Jimmy, nice to meet you, by the way. Nice to meet you. Um, been doing a little bit of research on you, of course. I, I noticed that you're a middle child of six brothers. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, also, your dad was a detective. Yeah, you, so you read my bio. Fantastic. Well, I, I kind of had a shady past, you know, growing up as a kid. I was wondering, what, what was the worst situation that your dad ever got you out of? Anytime he had to get me out of fucking jail, I was getting an ass beaten all the way to fuck home. And he had this forearm punch that he used to do. He'd have his hand in his pocket. He goes, yeah, let me he would bring that elbow up and just knock you out. Oh, is that like a European uppercut? No, it's a fucking elbow punch. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Scott, what's your question for Dave? Well, Dave, I, I, I know you wrote for uh, SNL. I, I know you were on Dr. Katz. Uh, you had your own show, Insomniac, which was fucking beautiful. Um, I was just wondering, what's your favorite kind of beer? My favorite kind of beer? Oh, that's an interesting question coming from a robot. Um... <laughs> To be honest, Scott, 
beer, I always thought, was like just the shoehorn that would get the whiskey down. Yeah. So it was always like, you know, whatever was the cheapest beer was the best beer. But I know now we live, you guys, the millennials here with your designer beers, you know, they all like have a flavor. You know, they're supposed to taste like a father who listened. I understand. So, excellent question, Scott. Thank you. Thank you. Ah! Uh, my mother cared. My mother cared about me more than law school. Uh, I got it. <laughs>